Hey guys, welcome to my studio. My name's Hannah, and today I'm going to paint a landscape from my last backpacking trip. I tried to time that voiceover out perfectly, and that's as good as it's going to get for now. So, I'm just starting with a light purple uh, backwash. I don't necessarily use like a proper primer, because uh, I like to see the wood grains. So I'm just starting with this as my color base tone. I generally keep my paintings very, very light. Um, so mine as well. I don't want to start with like a pure bright white. Um, I don't know why. I'm not against it, but it just reminds me of school maybe. I don't know. Let's not look into it. Anyway, so I'm starting with the darkest darks. I build up to the lightest light. Uh, and this is just of a piece of the trail it's the John Muir PCT, um, they like intertwine on this certain trail we went on. I don't know at what point where we were or where I was, <laughs> like that sort of, we were far out there, all right? So I don't know what was going on. Um, but yeah, this was a very, um, memorable part of it. And I just have a lot of photos of just the trails curving around these, uh, little valleys and, uh, these huge boulders and it's pretty delightful in certain areas so um yeah enjoy this little painting video of the sierras and i'll hop on if i have something very witty and clever to say or maybe informative you know maybe we'll be lucky and it'll be something helpful who knows <laughs> enjoy love painting so much. I love painting so much. I think about it all the time, what my next project is, what my next painting is, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm just like, I'm happy to be involved, you know? So when I go on a new trip or I just take like a little personal outing or whatnot, I look forward to the photos I'm going to take because I know I'm going to use them as reference at some point in time. And I just... I th that's why I started making these videos is because you know I can't just I mean I could but I don't want to just like hide in my little studio with, <laughs> with with these like large and small paintings and just a little bit of everything you know if someone sees something that they like or they think is beautiful or it just makes them feel good I want them to you know have it for their own um, and I just, which, you know, obviously clears up space for me, um, and just gives me more and more reason to paint. But it's just, it feels like such a cool um, experience every time I paint. And I paint every day. I even work at a studio and I paint there. It's much different. I mean, it's in their style. This is just, this is all me. <laughs> but still just the act of painting and creating a little world that you could take home with you look at in the morning or if you just need a little extra you know a little something something i just i don't know i love it it's just great Okay, and then I'm just gonna hop in. I, I, you know, I got stuff to say. So I, I don't know what I want these videos to be. <laughs> you know, like I love painting. I just, I just emphasize that. But I, I feel like YouTube and making videos is such a tool and a positive tool 
uh, for a career like mine because it gets your stuff out there. Um, and I've never had my stuff in a gallery or I've never like, you know, I don't have this like list of people that necessarily want to buy my stuff just yet. But I think this would be a great tool, I hope it will be, uh, where doors will open. And I'm hoping, like, maybe it's just an amazing outlet, you know? Um, and I don't know if you guys are believers, but I believe, uh, I am a Christian, so I believe that God has, like, a path for you and, like, um, you know, will have a way for your art to be out there in my case or for something that you love and really enjoy doing to become hopefully a livelihood you know hopefully that's a path that he wants you to go on if he puts it on your heart so i'm thinking like maybe this is a door that i'm like starting to open because he wants i don't know what's going on i just think that hey maybe this is an opportunity so I don't know, share it with your friends. If you watch this and you're like, this chick might know what she's doing, <laughs> you know? Or you just think the painting is beautiful, you want it for yourself, or who knows? The reasoning isn't extremely important. I just think that I'm gonna use this as a tool for a while, and um, I don't know, I really enjoy making the videos too, so. I'm gonna say that's probably a good sign, right? I'm gonna take that <laughs> as a good sign. In paintings, I really enjoy having those really deep shadows and the immediate contrast with uh, places of just natural bright lightness. I think that's very satisfying and cool to paint uh, because of all the different colors you get to use. I mean, you're looking at that shadow and you're like, well, that's not actually just like a gray, you know, or a dark brown or whatnot. You're using a lot of blues and purples. Uh, you want to introduce a little bit of red in there every once in a while um, Just because red and that crimson can be the backbone of a lot of natural colors So I just think it's so interesting to play around with those colors and see what you could get uh, And really what doesn't work, <laughs> you know, sometimes um, Yeah, I just trial and error is the way I go. I don't paint super realistically. I take that picture I've taken or um yeah that's mostly the picture I've taken I don't paint too much plain air looking at the object and painting it in that time um but I take that and I kind of just do what I want with it you know and it's not intentional this is just this is just the thought process this is just how it, it comes out you know even if I try to make it realistic I would still end up creating this little world that well you know i see these really textured brush strokes and i see these really really to me satisfying uh puzzle pieces kind of come together just by adding a couple brush strokes here not blending it out a lot of layering i think that's very satisfying in my eye kind of impressionistic if you're an art uh fellow <laughs> person like me you'd be like i get it don't worry about it uh, if not, that's fine too, but I just, I don't know. This is just very much my style, and I think it's so cool because it's kind of finally coming to a place where I'm like, yeah, I can make something work with this. Like, I figured it, I'm figuring it out. I don't want to, like, jump the gun on that, but I enjoy it. And then I, I generally, I don't want to say always, but I generally end up with a super light sky, that emphasizes those brighter faded out greens uh, and pastel colors that are complementing the ground and the trees and the stuff 
uh, that are in the background that aren't necessarily in the foreground. So I use that as contrast to brighten the whole painting uh, because my painting sometimes can fall a little dull. So just to have those brighter colors in the background, it really helps bring it out. And then this is the finished product. I added lots of blues and greens to the mid-ground. I love how that background turned out with the mountain range. And that's it. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And I enjoyed the painting too. So have a good one. Bye!